what's going on all my cheesy friends out there in youtube world and today now listen today is a little bit different of a video as you can see behind me we got mckay's one of my favorite places to source we have a whopper one would dare say burger king size of trade credit of 254 dollars and 77 cents so i thought it would be a fun little video to see in three hour allotted time period how much profit i can pull out of this store it is currently 11 54 p.m we'll say 12 minutes because i gotta go use the restroom but we're gonna go in here and see what we can find for those who don't know what mckay's is your first time watching my video mckay's is a used i mean everything store they've got it all they've got amiibos figures books games and the way that i amassed such a large amount of said trade credit is by giving in inventory that's either been sitting for a long time came back broken i mean they're damaged i mean this guy's the limit on this right my thought process is what can we find in these hollowed halls to make us money and i know if you've watched any of my videos in the past i've always you know looked up video games and dvds and toys but we're gonna do a deep dive we're gonna I'm gonna really scrub the rug if you know what I mean and just see what's about now I always kind of like to start off by showing some of the neat stuff because I mean sometimes they just have pretty cool stuff like that's actually one of the things I gave in um, I mean they've got 3ds's switches new stuff old stuff it just depends uh, sometimes they'll have some really good deals that they just don't know about and camera gear like I said the sky's the limit So as you can tell, they've got a lot of really neat stuff like that Mega Man X back there, Tournament Fighters, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, but where I see them slipping, see that Super Mario World for $9.95? That's in great condition. The label looks perfect and I should be able to get five bucks per and it looks like they may have more than one. So we may have to grab that, but everything else looks very, very, very overpriced, which to be very fair with you is very common with these folks i've never seen bomberman 2 there's just some stuff i'm going to look up and see what i can find see if there's any more that they're slipping on king of dragons but that label is rough and see like here's a perfect example of them like just wildly overpricing things see that brawl brothers back there with a crappy label like i can buy it in the same condition off of amazon for 1974 like you really gotta be careful and really do your research because you can get pretty screwed. Unfortunately, there was no figures or anything else like that that I wanted to grab. Did grab that copy of Mario. Now here comes my fun part. I'm gonna scour these, I'm gonna scour those, find some DVDs, see what's up. Now you may be asking, how are you selecting what you're looking for? Well, realistically, all I'm doing is going through the used stuff and pretty much overlooking it unless um, some of these, even though they're used, actually do really well. So I'll check like MGM. Granted, if it was cheap enough, maybe, but at 95 cents. But like, look, this is what we're at so far. And these are all super cheap. 95, a quarter, 95, 95. And they're just quick and easy double ups. So, I mean, I am just going quick. I'm going fast. I'm looking for sealed stuff. You know, I'm just looking for uncommon things that I know, especially if anything is like um, bands or music, especially like Christian based, that kind of stuff. And I'm just going fast. Like, obviously you can see, I started way down there and I'm all the way over here. You know, we're, we're just, we're plowing through it. So it is coming up to 1231. And one of the other fun aspects of this is these giant bins of unsorted untouched glory this does slow me down a little bit but i can check through these pretty quickly and i'm just literally just looking for sealed if i see anything crazy like like i said doing this so much i've learned like okay maybe i should stop and look at this or maybe i should stop and look at that for the most part i'm only trying to go through the top couple layers and just move on Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. All right, guys, we are in an hour. First hour done, and man, I'm going to tell you, I know this probably doesn't look like a lot, but there is a lot of DVDs in here. That's just the stack of going through the tops and minus four over there. Um, so I haven't even gone through the top stacks, which, like, I'm already seeing, like, there, there's a sealed DVD. There's, so, you know, your, your boys, your boys really, really, really pushing hard right now. I think I would dare say there's probably 60 to to $100 worth of profit right there. 
after cost of goods. Could be wrong, there could be way more. There was a couple DVDs that have some pretty insane value for paying like a dollar or two. Yeah boy, let's get to it. Got a lot of work to do. Guys, I'm stopping mid-challenge to show you a bolo. Soon, the return, if you ever find this new or insanely cheap used, that's the used price. Look at that new priced. So if you ever find that new, make sure you grab it. So I just went through the video game racks, which were super, super busy, and that's why I'm coming over here. <clears throat> Look what I found. Another copy of that, and I'm taking a little bit of a risk, but that Super Mario All-Stars is in a great condition for 16 bucks. I believe that makes about eight or nine bucks, but I could be wrong. The listing's a little wonky, so I want to double check that. But again, here we are, DVD racks part 800. Just pumping through it, man. We are sitting now at 121. We're pumping away, man. We're absolutely just killing it. I gotta stop getting distracted by my phone. <laughs> Update, we're about 30 minutes till two. And uh, I've added a few in here. Um, this one's pretty good. But now, one of my favorite sections the accessory sections and I'm looking for specifically weird things I've showed you guys this in the last couple videos or video but I'm looking for like weird stuff like the kind of stuff you don't tell your mom about because she's gonna judge you at Thanksgiving next year so anyway you know like net links wow that, that's complete that's insane um, you know weird wires and that kind of goobly goop stuff. So, because we're on a time crunch, your boy's gonna get off here. There's gotta be some goodies in here. I just know it. We are on the final rack of DVDs and Blu-rays and that is comedy. But I'll tell you what, it's no laughing matter at the stack I got. Yeah, it's bad, like the joke, not, not the stack of money in front of me. Man, I'll tell you what, your boy is getting to the point of exhaustion. Because I'm going fast, like, you know, we're, where are we at? We're at uh, almost two o'clock. So, you know, we're just going through DVDs. I mean, that's an $8 DVD. Like that's their Blu-ray. So we're gonna pass on that. But you know, we, we, we're doing the thing, the stuff. I still wanna check books. I still wanna check upstairs. I wanna check, there's just things I wanna check before I just say, all right, we done. We're getting out on time. Almost an hour, a little over an hour left. Y'all, I'm bad. I forgot about the thriller, the action, and the kids on the other side. So. We're about to hit two o'clock. Time is ticking. Hey guys, y'all seen my family? You know, my familia? Have you have you guys seen my, my family anywhere? Like I, like anywhere? Just just have you seen? I'm really looking for my family. Where's me familia? I right, real talk. Who is the original BA? You know, the bad arse, the man with the plan. Is it Van Damme? Is it Stallone? Is it Kilmer? Is it uh, Bruce Willis? Let me know in the comment below. Did I say Seagal? I didn't say Seagal, he's included. Just the original BA, you know who I'm talking about. So, like, I didn't know they took plush. Which is interesting, because this is a Pokemon. Granted, it doesn't have any tags. Well, besides the butt tag, but that's opportunity. Let me tell you guys, not just on Amazon, but eBay too. Some of the Pokemon plushes, especially if they're old enough, they can be worth a lot of money. Now I say that, but we're also getting close to time. I mean, it's it's 2.13, so we're, we're inching up there. We are now on the second level. There's some documentary sports. A lot of times there's game stuff hidden in here and hopefully we can uh, make it down there to the like music section we'll see all right guys we are on a home stretch the last the last the anime and then we got a dip dip potato chip because we're getting close 239 and that wasn't worth it okay i'm done with the anime um because they had this one and they were literally pricing at 28 dollars like you're not going to catch them slipping here on that so i'm just not going to waste my time but I'm gonna do one last quick check of DVDs, just a quick little glance over. I've got 10 minutes, well, 14. Alrighty guys, it is three o'clock on the dot. I was searching for another movie and I couldn't find it. And I ran out of time. I was like, nope, we, we gotta do this properly. We gotta do this, this fairly. This very nice lady asked me for some help finding a video. So I'm gonna go help her do that. And we're gonna check out and get out of here. Oh yeah. Guys, you're never gonna believe this. I only spent $135.42 of all that credit. Now I didn't count up as the amount of stuff that I got, but there's quite a bit. Also, it took me 20 minutes to get out of there. So you may be asking yourself, how many items did you get? Don't know. It was a lot. I was going quick. Yeah, it took me about 20 minutes to get out of there. This very nice, more seasoned lady. We did some help finding some DVDs. 
And even after, I gave her a little bit of direction like, hey, you should, instead of like trying to go through and find them all, you should just go to the front desk and ask them if they have any. And she kept kind of being insistent that I help find them for her. So I did. We only found one out of the seven or eight, however many it was, that that very nice lady wanted. She was happy about the one, but disappointed about all the other ones. And uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, I didn't know half the titles. So anyway, I'm gonna go into the uh, gas station here, get me a drink because I am parched. And let's go home and uh, well, let's start a shipment and see what the amount of profit we're looking at. Alrighty, righty, tidy folks. We're back at the Cheese Cave. We've got all of those DVDs to input into inventory labs. I was gonna go individually one by one, but no thanks. I love y'all, but uh, I think it'd just be easier than being like, oh look, this one's worth a bunch of money and just show you like, this is what it's gonna be realistically after fees and so on and so forth. Just as a reminder, we spent $119.35 in trade trade credit. So let me get my butt to list and see where our totals come out to. All right, guys, so like I was telling you, we spent $119.35. I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 DVDs left. And we've already hit our net profit. At a $36.20 buy cost, we are already at $119.43. That's pretty baller. But we're not done, so we're going to keep scanning. With the final item from the trades labeled and ready to go, which was that Super Mario All-Stars that I was kind of iffy about paying $16 bucks for, which worked out really well, actually. Total net profit after cost of goods is... $269. $262.35. So we not only pretty much doubled up, I mean, what, 120, so that's, yeah, 240. So we doubled up and even a little bit more. I would dare say with a three hour time limit, some trade credit and uh, hopes and dreams, you can do some damage in that there McKay's. Uh, thank you for coming along for this experiment. It was a lot of fun. I want to do more of these. I think it was a really good, just a really good idea. But I like, share, subscribe. Bye!